Okay, this is still tough with the dry fly here. Oh, fish! Good morning and welcome back to the final fishing day on this trip to Lapland. While we've been here, spring has turned to summer, the trees have all turned fully green, the flies have started to hatch and the fish have started to rise. Where we're going today is a special lake and little river that has produced for me some huge grayling. Um, it's not a prolific place, but when you catch, they're normally very big. So we can hope today, it could be an all or nothing day, but it's going to be quite a hike. Normally we go by boat or canoe across a lake first and then hike up, but we don't have access to that now, so it's going to be a longer hike. As it turns out, I'm on a solo hike again. Um, I'm just crossing the bog to start with. And the first part of this hike is the same as the other day. I'll catch up with you on the other side of this section. Well, I'm quite relaxed about this trip. It's just something where I can just enjoy a nice hike in the nature, in the wilderness. And I just know that there's always the chance of that big fish, although I don't expect it to come. some views again but it doesn't stop amazing me I said at the beginning of the week, I think it's unlikely that fish will be in this stream this week. I think it's just too early in the season. I think they're all in the lake, but it's absolutely worth trying. I'll walk slowly my way up alongside the stream, just in case I can spot a fish and start making casts. Before I've caught fish either just down here or a bit further up. So far no fish. Okay, now we head over to the other side of the lake. Still not seen any sign of fish yet. Nothing rising, no splashes. Um, 
and make my way a bit further along. There was a first sign of a fish, but um, just down here, although I think that was about a 70 centimetre pike. Typically, just as I want to start fishing at the lake, the wind starts blowing. Well, let's see. If I can't locate anything with the dry fly, I'll probably switch to a streamer. Danger with a streamer here is you're more likely to get pike. Yeah, I'm going to put down the dry fly rod um, until at least I see something rising near me. I think I debate with myself whether to put a wire trace on the streamer setup. Um, it may make it a bit tougher to catch grayling, but I don't really want to litter and lose flies to pike, so I may do that. So the plan is this. I'm now going to fish with the streamer in the same spot I've been and then take a walk down to this end of the lake see if we see anything try fishing a bit there and gradually walk back along the shore fishing with whatever seems appropriate see if we get anything if not make our way back seeing something happening out there in the middle that's insect hatches, a little bit of wind, or some sort of fish sipping. I'm not sure, but there's definitely something happening out there. That was far too far out for me. Oh, there's a rise. Impossible area. Hopefully they start rising closer to the shore. Well, I said it was a long shot today and that's what it's proving to be, but there's still that chance. Sometimes there's only been one, f there's a pike one fish here. Should we try and catch that pike? Probably impossible now. We nearly went for that actually. <laughs> Had a little lunge. I'm seeing more and more fish rising but still way out of reach and if you can see that that was a good rise my last trip to this lake i caught a 57 centimeter grayling on a streamer just down here that was the only grayling of the day the next cast a couple later was a pike the rising has all stopped Uh, it just does not seem worth putting a dry fly out there without seeing anything nearby. So I'm still thinking my best chance is to draw something in with a streamer. Back to where I started fishing the lake. Didn't see any sign of grayling down there, only small pike. And now I'm going to fish along this shore back up. Unless I see anything rising, I'm just going to fish the streamer. I think the closer we get to this end of the lake, the more I consider taking off the um, wire trace. Wire trace is gone. It's now half past three. Still, still, still looking for a rise. 
but since it's the final day I'm going to get back quite early because I've got to pack and leave early in the morning disturbance on the water over there. Oh, I don't know what that was. Hmm, a little drop of Scottish water. What's there? Well, having watched for 10 minutes I think it's extremely unlikely that a fish caused whatever was in the corner of my eye. Um, I've seen lots of insects on the water but absolutely no sign of fish and this is a place you can definitely see them. Beautiful spot. Baby fish. Tiny little fish there. Only grayling, about two centimeters. Well, I hope the others had a successful day. They uh, went dry fly fishing to the spot we were yesterday. That may have been the better option, but you can't miss out on a try at that lake. Okay, bye. So a new plan, we go back for evening fishing. The reports from the river were that there were rising grayling everywhere. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but they suddenly stopped. So the guys have gone back to the cottage, but want to go back again. And uh, hopefully I can get there and we can all go. Let's try and get back to the cottage then ASAP. And that's the worst of the bog done. Oh, nearly back. Well, here it is. This really is the final shot. I had reports of a river full of rising grayling earlier before they suddenly turned off. Also, salmon jumping. Um, we just come back in the evening and just seen a good fish rise in the middle of the river after a while of waiting and not seeing anything. We start fishing the dry fly now and hopefully we'll see the rise start again. Oh, Yoni's got a fish. That's good. in the net. I haven't seen anything rise for a little while, so I'm just changing tactics slightly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swing a red tag. Yep, fish. Oh, 
I haven't seen it yet, but it doesn't feel so big. No, it's not. But it's a fish! First fish of the day. There we go. dry fly. That feels quite heavy. been a super super last little session so happy what a way to end it How about that for a beautiful final session? Talk about ending things on a high. That was lovely to catch a couple of fish and one good dry fly take at the end. Um, a super way to end the week. Well, I'm now back at the cottage quite a bit later than I'd hoped or wanted, but I certainly wouldn't change it for that fishing. Packing things together now, ready for an early start tomorrow on the long haul home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and goodbye.